We might here also take the opportunity to point out that we are not dealing with Earth's conditions when we consider the rays, nor are we only consumption of the motion of the monads upon this planet, but are equally concerned with the solar. P-H-Y-S-I-C-A-L-A-N-D-A-S-T-R-A-L-M-O-T-I-O-N-177 System in which our Earth holds a necessary but not supreme place. The Earth is an organism within a greater one, and this fact needs wider recognition. The sons of men upon this planet so often view the whole system as if the Earth were in the position of the Sun, the center of the solar organism. Under the regime of the ego, the ray upon which the ego can be found holds sway. This ray is simply a direct reflection of the monad, and is dependent upon that aspect of the spiritual triad which for the man is at any particular time the line of least resistance. By that we must understand that sometimes the ray will have for it center of course the atmic aspect, sometimes the buddhic, and at other times the manasic aspect. Though the triad is threefold, yet its egoic outposts, if one may so express it, will be either definitely atmic, or predominantly buddhic or manasic. Here again I would draw attention to the fact that this triple demonstration can be seen under three forms, making in all a ninefold choice of rays for the ego. Atmic Aspect 1. Atmic Atmic 2. Atmic Buddhic 3. Atmic Manasic Buddhic Aspect 1. Buddhic Atmic 2. Buddhic Buddhic 3. Buddhic Manasic Manasic Aspect 1. Manasic Admic 2, Manasic Buddhic 3, Manasic Manasic. This literally means that the three major rays can each be subdivided, in connection with the ego, into three divisions. This fact is also little appreciated. 178 A T R E A T I S E O N C O S M I C F I R E. The third period, wherein the monodic ray makes itself felt on the physical plane, is by far the shortest, and covers the period in which the sixth triangle holds sway. It marks the period of achievement, of liberation, and therefore, although it is the shortest period when viewed from below upward, it is the period of comparative permanence when viewed from the plane of the monad. It covers the totality of time remaining in the 100 years of Brahma, or the remainder of the process of manifestation. When